Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Safe Touches Show. We're so happy to see you again this week. Now, we are gonna talk some more about personal safety with all of you today. Do you remember those words from last week? Those words, personal safety? Do you remember what those words mean? Personal safety is all about keeping our bodies safe. Last week, we talked about something called safety tools. Safety tools are things that we can use that help us keep our bodies safe. We had all kinds of examples of safety tools from last week, like putting on a helmet when we ride our bikes, looking both ways when we cross the street, and even putting on our seatbelt when we're going somewhere in the car. Our safety tools help us keep our bodies safe. Now, this week, we are going to talk about something called the bathing suit rule. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think my friend Eunice here has something that she wants to tell all of you. Hello, everyone. So nice to see all of you again. I wanna to talk to all of you about something important, but first I have a question. Do you know that you are all special? You're very special, and one thing that makes you special is that you own your own body. From the top of your head to the tips of your toes, your body is special, and your body belongs to you, and my body belongs to me. That's right, Eunice, and my body belongs to me. Today, we are going to be talking about the private parts of the body. And sometimes when we talk about the private parts of the body, it might make us feel kind of giggly or silly or a little uncomfortable inside. Friends, that's okay. We don't talk about private parts of the body very often, but we're also gonna play a guessing game later on today, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Now I think it's time, Eunice. Can you tell us what the bathing suit rule is? Well, Miss Grace, the bathing suit rule helps us remember which parts of the body are private parts. You see, the private parts of the body are what are covered when we put on our bathing suits. Do you have a bathing suit, Miss Grace? I sure do. And my favorite place to wear my bathing suit is when I go to the beach. How about you, Eunice? The beach is fun, but I love to wear my bathing suit when I'm at the swimming pool. So remember, the bathing suit covers the private parts of the body. I'm thinking that we can play a guessing game to help us remember this rule. Let's see if Petunia will join us for the game. Hi, Eunice. I love to play a guessing game with you. Hey, how do we play? Well, Petunia, you can see our posters of children wearing their bathing suits at the beach. I'm going to name a part of the body, and you'll see an arrow pointing towards it. Your job is to tell me if it's a private part or not, and why. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun, Eunice, but how will I be able to tell you why? Good question, Petunia. You can tell if a part of the body is private if it's covered by a bathing suit. So if the part of the body is covered by the bathing suit, you will say, that is a private part because it's covered by a bathing suit. Are you ready, Petunia? I'm ready, Eunice. Okay, Petunia, let's look at the hair. Is the hair a private part? Mm, no, that, that doesn't look like a private part to me, Eunice. And why not? Because, uh, well, it, it's not covered by a bathing suit. Great job. Now, how about the feet? Are they a private part? No, Eunice, those aren't covered by a bathing suit. Petunia, you're really getting this. How about between the legs? Oh, that's, that's definitely a private part, Eunice, because it's covered by the bathing suit. Mm, that, that made me a little giggly. That's okay, Petunia. Sometimes it makes us feel giggly. Now, this is a tricky one. How about the chest area? Oh, that, that is a tricky one, Eunice, because, well, it's covered on the girl, but it's not covered on the boy. So, uh, well, I'm thinking maybe it's a private part for a girl, but not for a boy. That's exactly right, Petunia. The chest is a private part for the girls, but not for the boys. Now, sometimes boys wear swim shirts, right? Sometimes boys like to cover their chests, and that's okay because they get to make the rules about their bodies. One more question, Petunia. How about the bottom? Oh, well that's a private part because it's covered by the bathing suit. 
You got it, Petunia. That's the end of our game. And you guessed them all correctly. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, Eunice. You know, I like this bathing suit rule. It's easy to remember. The private parts of the body are what's covered when I put on my bathing suit. Welcome back, everyone. That was the bathing suit rule. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Now, I think it's time for a brainstorm at home question. Herbert, do you have a brainstorm at home question for us? Well, hi there, Miss Grace. I do have a question for brainstorm at home. I love when I get to wear my bathing suit at the water park. I was wondering if our friends have favorite places that they like to go when they wear their bathing suits. Thank you, Herbert. That's a really great brainstorm at home question. Friends, did you hear that? It's time to brainstorm at home. So get your thinking caps, put them on, find a grown up in your house, and talk about all of the fun places that you like to wear your bathing suit. Friends, that's all we have for this week. It was so nice to see all of you. We'll hope that you join us next week because next week we're going to talk about something called Safe Touches. Hey, that's the name of our show. That's right, friends. Next week, we're going to learn all about safe touches, and we can't wait to see you.